Missoula. My name is Noelle McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. That was Asaph Adonai on piano. Asaph, yes. what song was that? That's the theme to Winnie the Pooh. Nice. <laughs> nice. You know, mixing it up. It's always a delightful song for mm. in the morning. But happy Wednesday, you guys. Uh, it's the middle of the week. Yep. And as, as you guys have all heard during this week, I'm sure that the buzz is that Bernie Sanders is coming today. He's having a rally uh, at Karis Park. He goes on at 12.30, we've heard, and that he <laughs> the doors open at 10. And apparently, um, he's supposed to be in Billings by 5. Yeah, so we're either hoping he's got a plane or else his bus is super fast. Nitro. <laughs> yeah. But, with that. Yeah, because, you know, it's like a five-hour drive, yeah. for sure. I'm, I'm assuming he has to be there, like, two hours early so he can yeah. do some prep work and, like, mm-hmm. learn about the city of Billings and maybe crack one or two jokes about the city. That's usually what politicians do. It's like, oh, Missoula, you know, uh, Zoo Town. <laughs> and then everyone's like, oh, my God, he knows about Zoo Town. And then everyone, like, kind of freaks out. And then, you know, that's Woo! the kind of thing. You know, yeah. politics. Politics, yes. They just know like one thing or two things about it and then it just happens. I wonder if uh, Donald Trump is going to go to the Daily Mansion, kind of like our Mitt Romney. No, I doubt it. Well, who knows? Uh, Donald Trump is not thinking about Montana. Montana I like is rich not in things. the scope. I, mean, I, I, I consider myself the copper king because so, the copper color hair. I'm going to go to um, the Daily Mansion because he was the copper king. Yeah, that's good, Scott. That was a good impression. But so as Does, far as it MCAT, totally makes sense. As far as MCAT goes, we are going to be filming it, and then we're going to be putting it on our Video On Demand channel later on. If you're expecting so, a live stream, don't. Yeah, it's not going to happen. We didn't get enough time in advance, and yeah. we didn't get enough notification. No. And, um, you know, those are things that we have to put together and make sure you do a lot of testing and troubleshooting even before the event Um, and so we are going to be filming it and then putting it on our channel later on yeah yeah pretty much no and uh, (laughs) the the thing that we use to live stream is like a a very fairly like weekly tested device Mm -hmm. that we've had and it's like oh we just didn't get enough time in advance nope yeah but of course uh one thing that you guys should be getting in advance is the weather but of course the weather is always changing like life um (laughs) And it's, um, you, uh, let's take a look at our weather. It is currently 36 degrees outside. It's going to be partly sunny today with a high of 62 degrees. And I can say that it's probably not going to rain today with a low of 40. Yeah. And then Thursday, your high is going to be in the 70. And you're going to expect those spring um, temperatures to continue on through the weekend. But that's pretty much what you guys got, need to know about our uh, w- our Wednesday weather. Mm-hmm. Um, but of course, if you want to find more information, you can log on to the weather, uh, oh. I, um, weather.gov. Uh, but of course, if you want to learn more information about us, you can go to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. And I'm cheap. You can also like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter at um, Wake Up Missoula. You, Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. You can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook at Missoula Community Access Television. And to find out more information about us, just go to MCAT.org. But of course, it is the second Wednesday of the month. And every second Wednesday of the month, we have an opportunity for you guys to be part of our orientation. So be a part of MCAT. Be a part of our community where we uh, either... Um, work on video production or uh, basically rent out cameras to you guys and lighting equipment for any um, production or stuff that you guys want to learn more about. It's it's a nice new skill to pick up in terms of television production. It's it's sure. all I mean like it's straight up television production. You're gonna learn how to shoot, edit, mm-hmm. and create your own videos through MCAT. It's a free service, but of course, uh, for orientation, it's 20 bucks a year, and then of course for first timers, it's a, an additional 20 bucks for the orientation kind of costs and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, first time. Um, it, is forty dollars, but of course you can always um, volunteer your way out of that with a ten dollar credit hour for volunteers. Oh, nice, perfect, mm-hmm. yeah. And so if you do come to our orientation session and pay your fees and do the whole uh, spiel, you also get to use all of our equi- all of our camera equipment. <laughs> Did of- you say all of our crap? I uh, know. I, I was gonna say camera equipment, camera and equipment, you know, combined. Mm-hmm. All of our camera equipment and rent it out. Yeah. Cool. It's pretty great. But of course, um, we have a bunch of stuff to talk about today as well. Um, mm-hmm. I do have I do I have a, li- a a really short city council, so I just want to just kind of dive into that real quick. Great. That's and great. Um, of course, if you haven't already. Um, heard um of course not really much happened with the city council meeting but of course it is um mortal motorcycle awareness month oh is it yes indeed and 
I'm just gonna bring this up real quick. Um, so during Motorcycle Awareness Month, obviously, uh, you have to be aware of keep your headlights on. And um, I can imagine that this is the month because the weather is getting nicer. So all those motorcycle dudes want to get on their motorcycles and travel around. Yeah. I mean, Montana's got some great roads for motorcycle travel. <laughs> Come on, Scott. Oh, well, I guess I uh, should have prepared a little faster earlier this morning because apparently it's not showing up on our page. No, it's not showing up on See, our page. See, I'll prove it to you. Nothing. They usually give us a list of meetings, but they didn't. But of course, later in today in the show, that you can um, join us for Hallmark or Bullmark, and we have a very special guest later today on our show as well. But without further ado, um, we have some events with Noel. We do. This is what's going on in your community. All right. So, starting at 1 p.m. over at uh, Peaceful Heart Yoga, they have got parent yoga. This is yoga for you and your kids. Well, it's pretty much for you while your kids play, so your kids can chill out, and then you do some yoga. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got afternoon matinee at Missoula, Maine. That starts at 2 p.m. That's in the large meeting room. Uh, also at the Missoula Public Library at 3.30 is middle school writers. This is a writing group for grades 6 through 9. At Taste Buds Kitchen, they're making an apple rose fruit pies for ages 9 to 13. Yeah. At the Top Hat Lounge, starting at 4.30, is Sharon in the Groove. This is their uh, fish happy hour. So they've got trivia, and uh, they've got happy hour drink specials. They have some video. They have some audio. It's all about the band Fish. So you can get your fish fix at the Top Hat Lounge at 4.30. Over at Lolo Pika Brewing Company, they've got a pint night. It's uh, more for kids. Uh, that starts at 5 p.m., and 50 cents from each beer sold will go to more for kids. Uh, over at the Northside uh, Kettle House. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you for a second, but I just want to talk about more for kids. They're on our um, Forgive Locals while trying to raise money. And this is a great organization because it helps a lot of the kids who are in um, a lot of low-income housing mm -hmm. and also who don't even have homes in the first place. And it provides um, warm clothes and food for some of these kids. So more for kids. If you if you don't want to donate to them directly, then uh, it's a great way for them to drink, have fun, while still do, um, donating to a good cause. It's very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, Scott. All right. Over at the Kettle House, uh, they've got double snap dollars starting at five. That benefits the food bank. And that's uh, 50, cents from each, 50 cents from each beer sold goes back to them. Mm -hmm. uh, over at the Zootown Arts Community Center, starting at 6, they've got a glass fusing, orient fusion, fusing orientation class. Uh, and so you, once you come to their glass fusing orientation, you can go back into their uh, glass uh, workshop and use any other materials. In the public library, starting at 6, they've got their jewelry making workshop in their maker space. That goes from uh, until 7.30. And then over at Great Burn Brewing Company, they've got a charity pint night for Montana Women Boat. That starts at 6 p.m. Um, over at the Roxy Theater, they've got an advanced screening of a film called Under the Gun. Um, it's a free event. It is the Under the Gun is made by Katie Kirk and Stephanie Shotig. And it's going to be about um, the gun violence in the United States as well as the rash of mass shootings that we've seen and, you know, gun laws. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I was just talking to my um, my aunt who lives down in Texas, and she's just like, uh, she's just like disgusted about how many shootings they have in the schools. Oh, I'm sure. She's always like, oh yeah, there was another school shooting just this last week. I was like, what? How can they? Well, I would understand that they like kids wouldn't even want to go back to school. Yeah. Or they wouldn't want to put their kids back in school and like homeschool them. I've seen yeah. a lot of recently like homeschooled kids. And it kind of makes sense to me because school, you know, used to be safe and I don't know, kind of sketchy. I know, you know, Missoula, we're pretty safe up here. Missoula is definitely a lot safer than a lot of other yeah, communities. Yeah, but you know, you never know. You just never know. I mean, the public school system has to get um, their, um, you know, just in general, yeah. the public school system is always just kind of looking, trying to find out new ways to get it. Um, but of course, there's always the heel, like, at, you know, it's public school and it's funded by the government and with government comes politics and with the politics comes um, bureaucracy and from bureaucracy comes uh, exactly. So a lot of things. Yeah. But yeah. of course, um, before we go move on to the next event, there's an event that's happening tonight. I just want to give a shout out to um, my dad. Because oh, nice. He's, okay. What's your dad doing? My dad does a trivia night every uh, Wednesday night and makes 
me go. Like he calls me and bothers me. And he's done this for the last four years. And this and tonight is the four year anniversary of him calling me annoying me. Oh, uh, actually, no. It better yet, it's it's the four year anniversary of this particular trivia night at the Silver Slipper. And they're probably going to give all sorts of great prizes and T-shirts and hats and. Great! Congratulations. Beer t tickets. So. Congratulations, Scott's dad. <laughs> for calling me. For calling Scott and bugging him and making him go to this with you. I'm glad you did that. He needs to get out. <laughs> I do get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's debatable. I'm just kidding. He does get out. Okay, so uh, moving on. Over at the Missoula Public Library at 7 is the second Wednesday book group. They're going to be discussing at play in the fields of the Lord. It'll be in the board, boardroom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> at the Broadway is Brains on Broadway Trivia. That's it. Starts at 7. Um, and then at the Sunrise Saloon is Country Dance Lessons with Kathy Clark. That also starts at 7. For $5, she'll teach you how to square dance. Uh, live Bingo is at the Lucky Strike Bar and Casino at 7. And Mary Poppins' Broadway musical is still playing at MCT. Wait, wait. So it's at 7.30. I'm sorry to interrupt again, but um, I thought Lucky Strike closed. The bowling alley, you know. The, is that, does it? Did it? Yeah. I thought oh, it was okay. Closed. Maybe the bar is still open. Maybe the, the bowling bar is alley. still open. That, but yeah, just check it out is, because I know that they just had the last bowling night like two Lucky weeks ago. Lucky Strike, that's the Lucky Strike? I'm yeah, Lucky Strike, the Lucky is, Strike um, is. The, like, is where the, the bowling is. Lucky okay. Strike bowling, mm -hmm. and then right next to it is like a nice little bar section yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. I didn't yeah. know that was Lucky Strike though. Maybe it's not even in existence anymore and I just fooled you all. <laughs> You never know, that might have been my plan the whole time. Oh no. I'm just kidding, I have no idea. The bar may still be open or it may not be open. But if it's if it's in the events, um It could also it be, could also be like automated events. Yeah, system. That's what I was about to say, is that a recurring event, so they just never took it down because they're so heartbroken. No. Yeah. Well, now we know. Now we know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I said, Mary Poppins is still playing at MCT. Um, so it starts at 7.30. You can still have a chance to go. Oh, I still have to get tickets to take my mom. Yeah, you better do that. I, I gotta do that. Uh, there's a Trivial Beer Suit at the Press Box at 8.30. Milk Crate Wednesday at the Palace at 9. Uh, karaoke Contest at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30. Uh, karaoke at the Badlander at 9. Karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon at 9. And over the VFW at 10 is a songwriter show. They are featuring songs, uh, solo shits from Shannon Murray, uh, Lag Newton, Carnes, uh, Bry Foolish, and Wailing Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> and it's free. Great, and it's free. <laughs> but that's what I've got for you guys uh, for events in your community today. Uh, we're switching gears now. We're going over to ASAF's ASAF segment. <laughs> yeah. I know, I got it. When I was in the third grade and my family lived overseas in Taiwan, there was this girl in my class and her name was Kelly Cross. And she always had the thickest tuna fish sandwich that her parents used to make her. And as I wrote in my autobiography, my birth mom, she would make me and my brother what we would call a wish sandwich, W-I-S-H. It's two pieces of bread and you wish there was meat in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm telling this story is because our guest today is an icon of icons who experienced the same thing, a wish sandwich, when she donned a famous phrase, where's the beef? <laughs> and of course, we're talking about the delightful Clara Peller, known to the world as Clara Peller. Clara Peller was a manicurist, an American character actress in her twilight years at the age of 81. When she was 81, she started in the 1984 Wendy's campaign commercial, Where's the Beef? Basically, she was born in Illinois, and there she is again. She worked for 35 years as a manicurist at a local beauty salon in Chicago. And then, of course, how life can take a person. When she was 80, she was hired temporarily as a manicurist for a television commercial. That opened up the door and started a chain reaction in her life in her twilight years where the people that set her up in this commercial were so impressed with her voice and so on. It's too bad we can't show the video to hear it. But anyway, she got offered a contract and she went on to become a spokesperson for the Wendy's organization. And so it starts off with 
two of her friends, and the ladies are saying, that sure is a fluffy bun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the patty was like the size of a quarter. And so she goes, where's the beef? <laughs> and you know what was interesting about this uh, commercial? The name of the restaurant was called Big Bun. It was a fictitious restaurant competing with Wendy's. And when this catchphrase came out, it was an instant hit all across the United States. It became a cultural phenomenon and made Clara Peller a cult star. And there, there's her friends right there just before she says, where's the beef? And you can see how big the bun was, like a <laughs> wish sandwich, yep. and how small the meat was. So my brother and I had a lot of sandwiches like that when we were kids <laughs> compared to Kelly Cross. But anyway, um, this lady was paid a staggering $317 a day can you believe that? That's a lot. For, yeah, for that. And this was at the age of 81. <laughs> and also, she, she was interviewed by People Magazine. And the sales went, it jumped up 31%. And Wendy's wound up making $945 million in 1985 because of this campaign. Wow. <laughs> wow. So that put Wendy's on the map. It put Clara Peller on the map. And uh, she went on to star in Saturday Night Live in 1972, I'm sorry, 1984 for uh, George McGovern who hosted it, the uh, Democratic presidential campaign. And finally, in 1986, she appeared in WrestleMania too. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and she was, this, she was a scorekeeper for the Battle Royale for the WrestleMania and the NFL football players of the 70s and 80s. Wow. What a cool funny. way to um, and yeah, live out her years. your twilight yeah. years. Uh -huh. with, Is she still alive? No, we lost her. I don't know if it said. Yeah, we lost her in 1987 at the age of 85. She passed away about three years after Wow, all her this. fame and fortune. Yeah, it just came on her suddenly, but she was well enough at the time when when uh, she did the Where's the Beef commercial. And what a great way to end your life. Nice. Yeah, yeah Thanks, so Lisa. that's my tribute to Clara Pella. Yeah, but it's never Thank too late much. to be a, um, put up on the spotlight. And yeah, it's never too late to do fan. anything, especially with what happened with this this delightful lady here. She was <laughs> just so such true. a joy. Yeah. Thanks, Asaf. Sure. Thank you. That was Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai, everyone. Um, I know, I've been, I'm tripping over my words today. <laughs> I really am. Uh, well, you don't feel obligated to go fast. Just, you know, if you need to slow down, just slow down. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Put it into second gear. Okay, so we've got events going on for Thursday. Uh, over at the Providence Center is our NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting starting at 10 a.m. This is a free weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness or interested in learning about NAMI. Over at the Montana Natural History Center, they've got our mini naturalist pre-K program that starts at 10. Uh, this is for these younger ones who explore nature. It's so mm -hmm. cute. I love nature. Over at the Children's Museum of Missoula is free admission day. It starts at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> it's late night children's <laughs> theater. <laughs> After hours. <laughs> After hours. Sorry, you guys. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm off today. After nap time. <laughs> After nap time. Yeah. I'm off today. Okay, so over at Spectrum Discovery area, uh, they've got a couple exciting things around Shakespeare, because as we know, the first folio is over at the University of Montana. Mm. Um, so their Discovery Bench is sound, uh, and their first folio, folio weekly activity theme is Constellations. And then their Brain Lab is Plagues of Shakespeare. So they'll learn about all the brain diseases of Shakespeare's characters. So basically, awesome. if you guys don't already know, is that um, Shakespeare first uh, book, first mm -hmm. draft of basically all his plays are on display at the university. Yes. Um, it's in the MMAC mm -hmm. building, the M Montana do, of Mo Modern Arts and Culture. I do believe so. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to be on until, until Friday. This Friday? Oh, no, no, the 31st. Uh, okay, the so 31st. the end of the month. It's going to be the here for whole the whole month. 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 Yeah. And it's a great way to just, just see a little bit of history because this book was, uh, I read a little bit about this, so I'm going to get a little context. Mm -hmm. This book was written after Shakespeare died, maybe like a couple of years after he died because then that's when they compiled all his plays oh, in this okay. book. And then the book really took off and sold because anybody knows that the artist never makes money until after they die. Of course. I know it's a tragic way, but it, it's Especially true. in the 16, 1700s, all that stuff. 
stuff. They're yeah. just like, oh, the starving artist is like, make sure you leave the paintings to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's very true, though. It's kind it's, of sad. It's yeah, yeah it's totally sad. Mm -hmm. So if you if you're an artist, make sure um, your art um, is taken care of. Make sure you're like it, it's it's like more of an investment for your family. Yeah, make sure your art is really really good, and then die, and everyone will buy it for your family. Yeah. For your family. But it has to be like something like super dramatic, like you're jumping over um, the Grand Canyon. Yeah, on a horse. And there's a and there's a painting of you just like doing over that. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. That sounds good. Nice Scott. Yeah. It, that's a, it's irony. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. live your painting. Okay, we're moving on. Yeah, we're moving on now. All right, so over at the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11 a.m., they've got words, 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 which probably means they're going to play with the words, talk about words, and use words. <laughs> Okay, also over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they are doing a create a story. So they're going to use those words that we're just talking about to create stories. Over at NAMI Missoula is the NAMI Connection Support Group at 1.30. This is a free weekly support group for adults with mental illness. Uh, over at Valley Christian School, they've got a preschool and kindergarten um, roundup. So it's classroom activities and kindergarten kindergarten activities as well. Um, and then parents can learn more about Christian education. So it's for if you are interested in uh, in you know enrolling your preschooler or kindergartner in school, they want you to come to their school. Over at the public library tomorrow at three is computer electronics in the makerspace. That's until three to that's from three to six. You can work on a project of your choice or learn how to use their equipment. At the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got basement improv that starts at three thirty. Local comedians will teach them how to do improv and acting. <laughs> yeah, that'll be cute. That's awesome. Uh, over at the Public Library, we've got Lego Club at 3.30, and then across the street at the Insectarium, they're feeding that crazy spider. It starts at 3.30, they're feeding Rosie the Chilean rose hair tarantula. I totally gotta check that out. Yeah, me too. Uh, over at La Grata Bella at 5 is a downtown drop-in wine tasting that is underneath the old post, old, yeah, underneath the old post, it's that cavern. It's a minimum of four wines, a different theme each week, and it costs $12.50. Uh, this next event is at the Greeno Park Pavilion, and it's called uh, Well, I Wonder. You had me at Pavilion. I know. I figured I would. Yeah. So <laughs> this starts at five, and so it's a Clark for Coalition and Montana Groundwater Academy. They're learning the science behind uh, groundwater in Greeno Park, um, and so and how it's being monitored by Western Montana high school students. Yeah. Uh oh. And also they'll get into a peek, get an inside peek into the water that flows beneath your feet. Oh my god! Mm, yeah, so I'll still go because of the pavilion. That starts at five. Yeah. High school uh, kids. <laughs> I know high school. Oh, kids they were are, just like they ruin everything. I know high school kids are monitoring during it. I don't trust that uh, for a second. I don't trust no monitoring from no high school kids. Mm -mm. Even babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them monitor you. I'm yelling at you, Neil. <laughs> yeah, we know you're watching. Uh, or, or slightly listening. Yeah, he probably has no idea. <laughs> okay, so over at Taste Buds Kitchen at six is a New York pizza BYOB cooking class. It's $40 per person, and they're gonna make some pizza, obviously. At Community Medical Center is Treasure State Toastmasters at six. Uh, this is a lively group that helps you improve your public speaking. Cool. Yeah. Uh, over at the Good Food Store at 6.30 is uh, Food for Your Health, Good Food, Great Skin class. Starts at $25. They're going to make roasted olives with rosemary, avocado, and cucumber soup. And maple and cardamom glazed salmon and then some carrot cake. Yum. Okay, and then this is the music that's going on tomorrow evening. Over the Sunrise Saloon at 8 is Dusk, uh, obviously a country band. Uh, at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30 is Open Mic Night. Top Hat Lounge at 9 is Turquoise and the Nth Power, their funk band. Uh, at the Broadway at 9 p.m. is Open Mic. Dead Hipster at the D Badlander at 9.30. Karaoke at the Dark Horse at 9. And then at the Real Lounge, they have got uh, an album release party. The Lowest Pair is releasing their album. They've got a couple supporting bands. So they've got Chris Sand and Crow Share. Uh, it's 18 and up, $5. The doors open at 9 and show oh, starts at 10. Cool. So you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, um, the Independent or the Missoulian for more events that are going on in your community. But of course, um, if um, you miss, if you guys miss 
first Friday from last week, um, we have an art clip from um, the new art installation at the Mozilla Art Museum, and it's photography. But no, well, for some of you who don't, don't really like photography, I honestly gotta say that this is probably the best photography I've seen. Like, Great. ever. Like, the, the, the photography is done so well, it looks like paintings, and I suggest you go check it out. It'll be on uh, installation until August 20th, so you have all summer to go check it out. It's going to be at the Mizzou Art Museum, but without further ado, here's a little taste of what you guys can see at the museum, and when we come back, we'll have a special guest. <laughs> that was a good oh, joke, man. Neil. Please tell our audience that joke again. You guys, this is our special guest, Neil Wells. <laughs> he is a high schooler. Yep, and he is <laughs> he is not only is he high school, but he's he's skipping in school. school just he's so in school. Here's proof. He's right here. Yes, just so he can go to the Bernie Sanders rally. That's oh, happening. you caught me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the truancy police. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to Bernie Sanders rally. Uh, tell us about this. Are you excited? Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Do you like Bernie Sanders? Yeah, I mean, out of the three candidates. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so would you say that um, if... On a scale of 1 to 10, how cute is Bernie Sanders? I'd like, say he's at least a 12. <laughs> it, would you consider him, like, um, on, on a scale of um, old candy to... Um, Hot, fresh, like, to, like um, right off the... Soup. What would soup. you consider him? Like, like, between candy and soup, what would you consider Bernie Sanders as, a, like, a grandpa? What? That doesn't make sense, Scott. <laughs> uh, is he a soupy grandpa, or is he a grandpa that gives you candy? Oh. Oh. Saltwater taffy. Saltwater yeah, taffy? Sure. Yeah. 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 I or, can totally uh, see that. Or, oh, what's that chocolate called? Um, Tolberones? Is it C's, I think. Oh, C's no. candy. Yeah. yeah. So, tell us, um, when is this event happening? Today. <laughs> like 12. <laughs> like at 12, like 12.30? Yeah. Oh, like 12.30. What time are you going to go down there, Neil? Uh, 10. 10. Sweet. Okay, great. Well, we brought Neil on to play uh, our favorite game with us. Yes, we're gonna play our favorite game. So we're gonna play Hallmark. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, right, I gotta get my camera ready. Ah. <laughs> Are you guys ready to play uh, one of my favorite games of all time? And it's called Hallmark or Bullmark. All right, so so Neil. It, have so you Neil. Heard of this game. Uh, vaguely. Okay, okay. So this is the synopsis. So what we do is. Uh, <laughs> Can I say this? <laughs> No, why not? I, I, I can't say it. Because you already you just did all, all the events and all that stuff. All right, whatever, Scott. Okay, let me let me do my own thing. You talk a lot more than I do. No, yeah, no, no, no way. You talk longer. Okay, okay. So the whole the, the idea behind this is I read uh, um, a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I? <laughs> and you guys have to determine whether or not it's a Hallmark original movie, or I made it up. It, otherwise known as Hallmark or Bullmark. Mm. Are you guys ready to play? Yes. Are right. right, you guys? Mm -hmm. okay, let's do this then. Hit it, Asaph. For Juliet, life could don't. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> okay, for Juliet, life couldn't get any more predictable. A nine to five job, five to seven after work work, and missing dinner with her fiance at six. 
When her fiance leaves her, she replaces her problems with more work, only pushing the people in her life farther and farther away. <laughs> But when her vacation time begins to pile up, her boss forces her to her on vacation. Juliet compromises by going to Vegas for work-related seminars. <laughs> she meets Deacon, a motivational speaker who really speaks to her on more than one level. But will this new relationship begin before her vacation ends? And the movie's called Motives of the Heart. Is this a Hallmark original movie, or is this something I made up? Okay, well, the title sounds realistic, but I, I'm, I'm, with the rest of like the synopsis, I'm going to have to say Bullmark. You're going to say Bullmark? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say Hallmark. You're going to say, mmm, it's going to be split. What about you? Are you going to... I'm going to say Bullmark. You're going to say Bullmark? Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, Neil, uh, you're right. You got me. Bullmark? It was nice. Bullmark. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, are you guys ready to play round two? Yes. I, All right. With this game, we always do two rounds just to see if you know I can... Fool Trick you guys, yeah. or not? I don't know. It, it depends. Win. Sometimes I win. But are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. <laughs> for pack rat Samantha Jules, letting go is never easy. And this springtime, spring cleaning, spring cleaning is getting a whole new meaning. <laughs> With the help from friends Chelsea and Veronica, she will find <laughs> that the less you ha the less you have, the more you have to gain. After selling more and more of her precious, priceless junk, she begins to see things a little, a little clearly. Puns intended. And the movie is called Letting Go. Is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete Bullmark? I'm gonna say Bullmark. There's like no plot to that. Yeah. Well, no, that that would, what, is what would make it Hallmark. You think so? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Hallmark. <laughs> what about you, Asaf? I'm gonna say Bullmark. You're gonna say Bullmark. Uh -huh. All right, well, like Asaf usually goes bull market like all the time, anyways, because it's it, he doesn't trust me. <laughs> all right, but uh, Asaf, I gotta say, you're right, it is bull market. Yeah. So you, this was a double dose of bull market. And Neil, you second guess yourself. Well, we got it right, Noel. Yeah. <laughs> Lack of plot, you know. It, it, sometimes that's totally. A lot of these movies could be a Hallmark original movie because oh, yeah, this is sure. so weird Ridiculous. and terrible. And plus, it's springtime. It's, it's perfectly. I try to get it within the times, and I know that Hallmark always comes out. With about six or seven movies for your um, uh, for your, for your season. holiday season. For your holiday yeah. season. Like every month they come out with uh, it's like a video week. It's like um, instead of wasting all their money on like special terrible effects on Sci Fi <laughs> Channel, <laughs> maybe I should have like a Sci Fi or No Fi. No Fi, No Fi a Channel. That sounds good. Yeah, Which is not sci-fi sci at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just like, like past stuff. It's like the history channel. It's all science <laughs> without the fiction. Yeah, it's all science. <laughs> Mecha Shark versus um, um, gator shark, gator po gator puss. Yeah, I don't think I can say that on TV. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> but of course, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, this is basically what we have for you guys for today's show. I want to yeah. thank Neil Little for short, joining short us this show. morning and skipping school just to be on our show. <laughs> thanks for skipping school, Neil. <laughs> I, I hope thought I'd hear that. I hope your teachers see this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're skipping class just so they can watch our morning show. Yeah. You're skipping school, and it's like, whoa. Wouldn't surprise me with a few teachers. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. I I believe that. Yeah. Okay, so just so you guys know, he's skipping school so he can go to um, Bernie Sanders rally, mm -hmm. and that's um, the 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 flaps of the doors of open the it. pavilion in Karis Park is opening like at ten, and of course the speech happens like at twelve thirty. Yep, and then he has to be billing at Billings at five, so we can only imagine the speech maybe is going to be a couple hours, like at thirty minutes, like five, like thirty seconds, like yeah, yeah Bernie Sanders, stuff. And, he, <laughs> and he makes some kind of reference to be like, oh yeah, this is a uh, zoo town. He's like, oh my god, he knows the like, nickname, what? and he just leaves. <laughs> that's that's like, yeah. like it's like politicians, but anyways, yeah, yeah. Uh, no that's, politics uh, in the flag. Yeah, like I don't really care about this or that. I'm not going to go do it. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm probably going to go see that Shakespeare book, the first edition of the Shakespeare book. Yeah, that's right. Really <laughs> I'd rather go see Shakespeare than I have to do homework. Yeah, you have still a couple more Yeah, I've got, I've got to finish a paper and I have to write another paper. So that's what I need to do. So I, I need to like, you know, do my stuff. But what you guys need to do is like us on Facebook, but you can also find out more information about us mm -hmm. on our webs, uh, our webpage, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice we made you write it out twice because I'm so cheap to buy the wakeupmissoula.com. And also you could uh, find us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter. You can like MCAT at Twitter, MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook and to find out more information, just go to MCAT.org. Okay, so uh, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. I'm Noel McAvoy. I'm 
I'm Neil Wells. And here's Asaph Adonai. Thanks, everyone.